kitchen. Hello and welcome to my latest cooking video. Here's my friend Jerry, cook. Hi. Jerry, like myself, is a vegetarian and we're cooking vegetarian today. Here we are. And um, it's a new recipe, but especially for you, Jerry, because you needed some new vegetarian cooking I recipes did. stuff, didn't you? <laughs> we are making roasted sweet potato soup and it is yum. You're going to love it. I am. I'm sure. <laughs> Let's go. You will need four sweet potatoes, one medium sized onion, two tablespoons full of olive oil, one teaspoon of ground cumin, 750 milliliters of vegetable stock, not made yet, a tub of natural yogurt, some salt and some pepper for your seasoning. So what you have to do, first of all, Jerry, is preheat your oven to 200 degrees C. I say C because people get really confused about centigrade and Celsius, so nowadays I just say C. Or gas mark six if you use gas. So you will need to peel and chop your four sweet potatoes. Do you like sweet potatoes, Jerry? They're okay. I wouldn't say I like them in terms of having them in slices or anything, but I will eat sweet potato mash and sweet potato wedges and things like that. Okay, I, I suggest you don't eat them in raw slices because eating sweet potatoes raw is not nice. Well, no, obviously, yeah. To Bit, tough. <laughs> Bit tough. Bit tough. They are, apparently, very, very good for you. We could perhaps find out a few sweet potato facts about how good they are. I've just grabbed my computer for some sweet potato facts. Okay, did you know that sweet potatoes are high in beta carotene and vitamins E and C? I didn't. Sweet potatoes are a good source of fibre when eaten with the skin on. Though we've actually cut them off for this recipe. Sweet potatoes can be baked, steamed, boiled, microwaved, fried, juiced, pureed, eaten raw. They can also be crocheted and painted. <laughs> Sweet potatoes are the official vegetable of South Carolina. They do love their yams. Jerry, tell me about your cooking. How often do you cook and what do you like to cook? I cook about once a day and it's mainly pasta and cheese. 100 grams of pasta, 100 grams of cheese, melt one or the other, eat it. Not a very varied diet, is it? Not a very varied diet. Rather like a student diet when I'm now. 27 and out of university for many years. Right, so. Which is not very good. It's a bit of a quest of mine to get something else on your yeah, uh, list I, of things you I think Helen would be rather relieved if I started eating something other than pasta and cheese. It, it would be, it'll be good for you. It'll be good for you. And some stuffed potatoes. Mmm, <laughs> Is he like this all day long, Helen? Unfortunately, so. <laughs> You need to put them in there. Okie doke. Ow! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm carrying on with guns. Chopping the onion. Chopping the onion. Chop, chop. It's nothing to cry about. It's nothing to cry about. It's fine. Put your chopped onions. Nicely sprinkle them over the top. And then you need two tablespoonfuls of the olive oil. You're going to do this, Jerry. Lovely. And you're going to drizzle the olive oil all over your chopped sweet potatoes and onion. Sorry, there's Yay. a thing. There's Excellent. a thing. Excellent. Mm -hmm. It says two tablespoonfuls, but I don't know, I always like to be a little bit generous with my olive oil. Don't know what Popeye thinks of that, but there <laughs> you go. That's it. Because we've got quite a lot of sweet potato here, I, I, I'd do a bit extra. If I get you a spoon, I suggest you give it a good stir around. It's my nice pink spoon for My favourite colour of spoon. Good old stir around. A little bit of salt and pepper on, give it a little bit of seasoning. Apparently, black pepper really increases the nutritional value of food. So a waitress told me recently in a restaurant. And apparently, if you throw it over your shoulder on the 3rd of May, you get a wish. Even put a little bit more pepper on there for us, oh. Jerry. So we're increasing, increasing our nutritional value. I'll do it in the uh, tr traditional Iron Chef way. Bam! Bam. <laughs> Great. 
This goes in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Yep. The sweet potatoes are just um, finishing off in the oven. So while that happens, I'm gonna make some stock. Very, very easy to do. I use a stock called Callo, which is particularly delicious. So just crumble them in to your jug. I like it nice and tasty, so I'm using two squares. If you could just pass me the kettle. Mm -hmm. We need 750 millilitres, so I'll give mm -hmm. that a stir as the water's going in. <laughs> I think we're there. Just Sorry, Jerry, just a tiny little bit more. Bit more? Thank you. Now, if you find you haven't got enough stock, it's fine to add a little bit more boiled water. Roast the sweet potatoes, smelling good? Yeah, pretty good. Coming out of the oven. They need to be just tender and looking about like this. Jerry, you could help me just put these into the bowl. So if you grab the spoon, you can push them into the bowl. Mm. Softly. Uh, maybe a few of those on Add your stock to this. Teaspoon of ground cumin. Absolutely love cumin. I love the taste of cumin. Ooh, new packet. I can't do it again. <laughs> Teaspoon of cumin. It gives it, brings out a beautiful flavour in the sweet potatoes. It's gorgeous. And now, just a tiny bit more in for luck. Going to milk it all up with my milk chef. Milk tastic. Right, what you need to do now is just give this a little bit of milk through and just get all the bits so you get a lovely smooth soup. So when it's all milched, I'll probably remove those bits of onions that are slightly overcooked. Go for it, Jerry. Right, because it because it's quite thick, mm -hmm. I'm going to add a bit more hot water, and it's fine because we've got loads of stock in there, so it's not going to affect the taste. It'll be good. Let's mix it up a bit more. Okay. The underwater milking. Woo! Sorry, you do know you can leave it running longer. <laughs> just quite enjoying. Woo! I'm afraid of it. That's why. I'm scared of it. <laughs> In. Do you think that's um, smooth enough? Are you happy with the texture? I think so. Yeah, Super just a smooth. tiny bit more. We've added some more pepper. <laughs> Remove, gosh, you're wild with this. <laughs> Slightly overdone bits of onion. It's fine to just take them out or leave them in. It's up to you. Really carefully, you can just pop all of that in there. Okay, let me take that, take that from you. All right. Okay, there you go, that's good, we have it. All right? Lovely. It won't need much more heating, but just give it a little bit more. It's pretty After warm. The comes the gnawing. Pick that through. Just before we serve it, you can add your yogurt. Give it a good old stir around. And there you have roasted sweet potato soup and of course now we're going to sample it and hopefully you'll like it. it does look good delicious shade of orange okay does that look all right for you that's jerry some, that's some good spooning <laughs> that's some good spooning soup ahoy let's see what you think of it jerry i'm Hope really excited like all the best foods are orange very hot and very tasty how does that taste lush you did a good job. It's really good. You're gonna have to make Fantastic. it more now. You do realise that. Oh, maybe. We'll see. No, you are. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I love it anyway. <laughs> Sweating that onion. It's real. I'm funny. getting it all sweaty. It's perfect. That looks perfect. Cool.